Good morning and welcome back or welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Lottie and today we are in the midst of the study diaries. So first things first, it's currently 7am. I'm going to get some breakfast and then I'm going to head to prep, get some coffee and start doing some work. Apparently it's going to rain today and it's looking, I thought it was going to be really nice. There was a few blue clouds but it's not looking good over there. Pretty sure I'm gonna get rained on, so I'm gonna take precaution and bring my umbrella. I've just had my breakfast. I had some smoked salmon and cream cheese on a bagel, which was really, really good. I've been trying to have quite high protein breakfast, partly because I've got long busy days with it being exam season, and also because I'm running a half marathon this weekend, so I need to be fully fueled. So smoked salmon and cream cheese is a great combination. Um, if you're in the UK, I get my smoked salmon from Lidl or Aldi and sometimes they have really good sales and it's actually reasonably priced. Um, so now I'm going to head to Pret and have some coffee and do some work and then I think I have nothing this morning until 11.30 and then I've got a vision thing where you learn how to do eye tests basically. So I've got that from 11.30 till 1ish. And then this afternoon I have a lecture at 2, but that lecture is online, so I think I'll probably go back to PrEP to finish that lecture off. The PrEP subscription has genuinely changed my life. If you live in the UK, I don't think they have it in like front, their French or American branches yet, but if you're in the UK, the club PrEP, £15 a month for the first month and then £30 a month afterwards, but the £15 a month one is the one I'm doing at the moment. Five coffees a day, every day, for the whole month, which is just insane. So I obviously chose exam season month and also got lucky because 31 days in May, so I get an extra day, so an extra five coffees, which I'm not complaining about. Anyway, enough rambling because it looks like it's about to piss it down outside, so I'm gonna head out before I get rained on because it's still a little bit sunny. It's a weird vibe today. I've got sunglasses, but I've also got an umbrella in my bag and then it's meant to be warm But it also isn't warm in my room. So therefore I am assuming that it's also not warm outside I've been very very pleasantly surprised and it's actually quite warm outside I think my room must have deceived me or my room just has such poor insulation that it's just colder than it actually is outside so that's nice, actually feels like it could be a good day today, um, especially because I'm on my way to get coffee and it's only quarter to eight. What a wild thing <laughs> in a natural habitat in prep. I've just finished my visit, vision, vision practical, and now me and Faith have come to enjoy the sunshine. I've got my salad meal prep here, and yeah, we're just sat in Millennium Square. We have a little ham. Millennium Square in the sun, because it's not often very sunny in Leeds, so it's nice to make the most of it and get some vitamin D. And then we're gonna head to prep and drink another three drinks that we didn't have this morning during our very productive revision session. Um, and we're going to finish off the table that we started this morning of various different leukemias and um, we had a lot of fun coming up with acronyms so I'm sure we're going to make some more of those but yeah I'm just going to eat my salad and talk to Faith <laughs> What's that mutation is it? Autosomal dominant. Mutated. Oh, it, the gene generally regulates from um, it prevents it. Okay? Mm. So if I have a gain of function, pull the, pull the little circle. I do. She wears shorts, girls. I wear t-shirts. She's shaped like the night. I'm not the bleachers. Good evening. I just got back from taking my friend home. So I drove her back home after quite a long 
I would say reasonably productive day of studying. We didn't do any like very intense revision but sometimes just talking it through and doing work with friends can make such a big difference and i would say one of the main things i've learned from medical school is to work with your friends it's so important when you're doing a course for five maybe six years to disregard the competitive element which i know is easier said than done because i think most people studying medicine tend to have quite naturally competitive personalities but honestly your friends are going to be your biggest help in medical school whether it be sharing notes flashcards doing questions together doing work together splitting up the revision it makes life so much easier so work with your friends not against your friends and i promise if you're in med school now you'll see the biggest difference if you start to do this and if you're going into med school it's going to make your life a lot easier from day one so me and my friend collaborated with a table we went through a load of stuff today and just wrote up all of these different conditions in the table together she was doing some of the research and looking through the presentations and notes and then i was typing it up and it was just a really good way of working together we also came up with some funny acronyms and sometimes just talking about it as well can make such a big difference so that was what we did today and then this afternoon I did some practice questions with my friends in the kitchen. It was also very, very chill and as I said, it's sometimes nice to just have that kind of revision and honestly doing it in that way can sometimes mean it actually sticks better as well because you've taken yourself out of your typical kind of comfort revision zone. So yes, it's now 11 o'clock and I'm gonna go to bed because I have, I actually have tomorrow off uni, which is really nice. Um, today I had a couple of things. I had a lecture and a practical session, which the practical was actually really fun. I did it with some friends um, and we just went around and did all of these different experiments and learned how to do an eye test, which was actually quite interesting. But I was really disappointed because in my head, it was just magic how they knew your prescription. And now that I actually know how it works, it's kind of, it's kind of sad it ruined that little bit of magic of wondering how they did it but anyway it was a nice day um and yeah tomorrow i have the day off which is really lucky so i'm going to go back to prep and drink my body weight in basically free drinks again i worked it out and i've already spent 140 pounds in seven days for literally 15 pounds which is absolutely insane to me now i'm gonna head to bed because as i said long day tomorrow of studying again but it will be nice and balanced as well and i really hope you enjoyed this episode of study diaries i apologize if you're expecting more fun but honestly it's exam season so it is kind of my life at the moment my camera is about to run out so it's probably time to end the waffle and actually go to sleep and it's decided to just stop focusing probably the fact that i'm literally using my lumia alarm clock as lighting plus my bedside lamp